everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. And um, this is just a quick flip through of the new Catherine Heaven magazine. This is Gothic Alchemy. It's out on Wednesday, the 18th of March. Um, there's 40 grayscale designs by Alchemy England 1977. So this is a complete grayscale book. This is front and back. So this is an idea of the sort of artwork that's inside. I've already started one in here, I've nearly finished it. So we're just going to go through them very, very quickly. So as you can see, this is very, very dark grey scale. It is a stunning book. Look at this. This is beautiful, but look how dark it is. Um, and this is what's called in a bit of um, consternation between with some colorists who were afraid to try it. I must admit, I would. I picked one of the lighter ones. I'm not big on dragon, so they probably I probably won't bother with some of the dragon pictures. I'm just not a dragon person. I don't have a problem with them. I love the pictures and I love the way they look, but colouring them, I don't know. Um, so this one's quite a, a nice one. It's probably quite a simple one to do, even though it looks really, really complicated because of how dark it is. Um, you'll see the one I've started when we get to it. But they are all absolutely stunning fantasy gothic um, pictures. It's actually one of the most beautiful editions of Colour in Heaven I've ever seen and this is stunning. This is one I might do, looking at it. Now I've done mine with the Everblend markers because I've never tried doing grayscale with um, pencils before but I might try and do pencils on this one. And that's another gorgeous one. They are just absolutely stunning images. So, yeah, I, I must admit I was very nervous about doing this one, but I just cracked on with it straight away and, and started doing one. That's gorgeous. They're just so beautiful. I mean, look at that one. The artwork is amazing. It's a really challenging book, this one, I think. Um, but a lot of people have risen to the occasion and they've just gone for it. So I'm sure I will try another one. These dark birds, though, are very, very difficult. I probably wouldn't even do the bird. I'd probably just do the girl in the sky. Maybe. Maybe even just the girl. I know somebody did this one, and they've just left it all the background grey and just done the main picture. I think that's probably the way to go with these. But they are absolutely stunning. I mean, look at that. That's one of the ones I considered doing. I think it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. But I don't think they're particular, particularly easy, some of them. Some of them are easier than others. And it, I think it's a matter of starting with something easy, build up your confidence, and then try something a bit more difficult. I mean, look at this beautiful one on the unicorn. That is just stunning. I like this one. This is what I will do. I'm, I'm pretty sure I will do this one. I just, it, this one speaks to me. I love it. That's another gorgeous one. I'm not sure why she's got a ship on the head, but uh, it's still a good picture. There's another one that's fairly, looks difficult, but is actually fairly simple to do. And this is the one I've been doing, as you can see. I haven't done the backgrounds and I'm probably going to leave that as it is, but there is a little bit of branching up here that I will colour in. Um, but I've pretty much, I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. I don't think I can add anything much to it. It's, it's just a beautiful picture. So as you can see, I did it with Everblend markers and that's why there's that in there. And this one's just sort of like a, a dragony rose, a rose that becomes a dragon. Or... So this is what they're all like. So that one's one of the ones on the cover. They are just stunning. So I get why people, that's another beautiful one that I'll probably do. They are beautiful. I get why people are scared. And a lot of people have just done this one because it looks quite simple. It's just roses and blood, but it's a skull, if you have a look. Um, I've done as well because that again is quite a simple one, even though it's very dark. That's a good one. But they are. I mean, I know I'm saying it over and over again, but they are just stunning artworks that even if you only coloured one or two and you left the rest of them like this, you could cut that out frame. Sorry about that. Battery ran out. All the batteries are half charged for some reason. I don't know why. Um, I'll charge them up tomorrow or 
you know, in a couple of hours before I do filming next. So, like I was saying, you could cut this out, put it on the wall, and it would look fine. It doesn't need anything adding to it. Um, if you don't want to, just buy the book because the pictures are absolutely gorgeous. This one's called The Highgate Horror. So this is uh, obviously a St Paul's, and it's supposed to be Highgate Cemetery. I don't know if you can see St Paul's from Highgate, but there you go. That's another gorgeous one that doesn't look too difficult to do, Midnight Rose. Now I'm looking at them, I'm seeing the possibilities that they're not that difficult. Um, that's another beautiful one. This one, we're nearly there. This battery's at the end as well. They obviously will need charging up. Although I'm sure I've done it. But, uh, but, uh, and this one. Uh, 39, Whitby Worm. So that's Whitby Abbey in the background. I've got a big dragon there. And the last one is this one, which is a, a bird sitting on a rose. But, so that is the Calorie Heaven Gothic Alchemy Calorie Book. So that's this month's edition. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. It is a stunning book. Their special is pretty stunning. The one that, this is the special. The, they have two magazines come out every four weeks. So there's this one, which is subscription, and there's one that's not. And I have trouble getting that one because my Tesco doesn't stock it. So I'm going to order it from the website, it looks really good. Um, so I don't obviously buy them very often because I just can't get hold of them. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. If you have, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below, share and subscribe. Are you going to get this one now you've seen it or are you too scared? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.